magic man with the magic hand to Berkser for the big show. Touchdown, Titan A.J. Brown. Sack! He is the baddest man in the NFL, and he just took her to the house. You have found the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. I'm Mike Keith with the Titans head coach, and we're talking about a 5-0 football team that won in overtime on Sunday here in Nashville over the Houston Texans, 42-36. Titans score with four seconds to go to force overtime, and then three and a half minutes into OT, the Titans win the ball game. Mike Vrabel, you've had 48 hours to reflect. What stands out about win number five? I think the ability of our football team to, to play a, a game a lot of different ways. You know, we were ahead. Unfortunately, uh, the tide turned, um, you know, with that block field goal and then the turnover. Uh, but but we hung in there. We, we, we knew that it wasn't going to be easy against a division opponent, a talented Houston Texans team. And uh, we, we executed the situation down the end that we needed and, and give our guys a lot of credit. You know, they fought, they hung in there. And, you know, it wasn't perfect, but, you know, we, we were able to pull out a win uh, and execute the situations that, as they came up. You lost your three-time Pro Bowl left tackle, Taylor Lewan, during the course of the game to what turned out to be a torn ACL. He's out for the year. How will you replace Taylor Lewan in this offense? Well, the same way that we'll, we'll try to replace any player that, that isn't available to us. You know, we're disappointed you know, for Taylor, I know he'll be back as, as quickly as possible. But we got games to play, and, and this one's about the Steelers, and they'll be here on Sunday. So, you know, we'll have to get moving and, and, and probably look at look at Ty. He's played a lot of snaps for us, meaningful snaps in, in these first five ball games. So, um, and he's done some some good things. You know, there's some plays he'd like to have back, but but I think he's done some good things, and you know, we'll have to keep building this plan here. Mike Vrabel's six-pack will focus on the last 10-29 of regulation and overtime. Titans were down two, and it looked like the Texans were on the move again when Tennessee gets a big defensive play from Big Jeff. Yeah, we needed a third down stop here, and it really pushed them out of, you know, what could have been field goal range. And, you know, Jeff and, and J.D. and Harold execute this stunt um, really exactly how we draw it up, and it's great execution on their part. You know, sometimes the, the penetrator comes free. Sometimes the looper comes free. And, you know, really it was an impactful play. Pushed him out of field goal range and, you know, forced the punt. Jeffrey Simmons leads the team with two sacks on the 2020 campaign so far. After Khalif Raymond caught the punt and was tackled at the six-yard line, Titans have a one-play drive going 94 yards, courtesy of Derrick Henry. Well, we got everybody covered up for the most part, and, you know, give Derek credit. You know, he was able to break there, cut that thing back, and use a stiff arm. They kind of took him in low there, and you can see him 21 and a half miles an hour. You know, those are DBs, and those are four four guys that, that he's running away from. So you can see the stiff arm coming up here as it as he tries to go low. You know, Derek takes his eyes and his hands down there to the helmet, and uh, and really breaks away. So you know, that's something that Tony Dews has been working on those guys with, and uh, Jeremy McNichols had another one on his 20 yard run as well. So. And we have to continue to coach those fundamentals. Derrick Henry finishing the game with over 200 yards rushing for the third time in his career. The next 13 points in the game would go to the Texans with just under two minutes remaining. They go for two to try to put the game away. Well, that's that's probably the right play, you know, up seven and, and trying to win it right there. Um, 
you know, we, we played pretty well down there, Mike. And unfortunately they went for it twice on fourth down and they were able to get it here. Jeff Simmons is able to get his hand up and make another impactful play for our football team to, to give us an opportunity to go down there and tie it. So it's 36, 29 at that point, the Titans get the football back. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. And the touchdown comes with four seconds remaining in the contest. Yeah, we were able to get up on the ball and, and operate. And everybody was able to, to get on the line. And you could see Roger, even though the play before, helping Jeremy up and, you know, getting him off the pile and getting everybody set and, and kind of catching them, you know, when they, when they weren't maybe ready a little bit. And uh, as opposed to clocking it and, and giving them time to, to get their cleats in the ground, we were able to operate, you know, going that fast. And if it was incomplete, we had another play. Go to overtime, game tied at 36. Titans win the toss, get the ball at their own 18. After two yards on first down, 53 yards on second down. Yeah, they lost Derek. You know, they lose him. You know, we're looking for some play action, and they they, they fell off him a little bit. And then Ryan gave him a, a great pass. Derek was able to get his body turned back towards the quarterback, make a great catch, uh, make somebody miss, and, and continue. But that's what Ryan does. He transitions down. You know, he... he he gets the ball um, out and, and to his check down there. And, and obviously the check down was able to, to break a lot of, a few tackles and, and get us down in there to the other side of the field. Derek was working in Friday's practice and catching the ball on the move for Tony Dews, his coach, pays off right there. That's preparation typical of Derek Henry. Absolutely. And I, and I love to see those things that, that play out um, in practice that happen in the game. We need more of the, the preparation and the practice uh, and then carry it over to the football game. And what played out at the end, third and goal at the five, the Titans surprised the Texans by sending Ryan Tannehill wide to the left. Yeah, and I just want you, you know, I mean, I thought Ty had a great block here. I thought Ferk did a great job, you know, coming around and sealing. Um, but there's Ty giving us a chance right there to get started and then Ferk getting up on the linebacker. And, you know, at that point in time, it was going to be a bunch of glancing blows. Somebody wasn't standing in the hole. Derek got moving. And, uh, you know, and that was the walk-off, the Wildcat walk-off. Can you describe how you feel as the head coach at that moment when you know you've won that game in overtime? Uh, just just happy for the players, you know, excited that, you know, we were able to pull it out. Um, and all the credit goes to the players. That's how it goes each and every week when we win. And, you know, they were the ones that, that, that took the football and, and scored to take us to overtime. And, you know, I know we, we need to improve defensively, but I know those guys were into it as well. And, and again, we just have to be more consistent on the defensive side of football. The Titans win 42 to 36 later in this edition of the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. It's the Rackley roofing tough Titan of the game. It's Anthony Ferkser who had a career game. But coming up next as we continue, it's the Bridgestone clutch performance play of the game. Another guy who catches that ball. Stay with us. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola continues with the Bridgestone clutch performance play of the game. One of my favorites, the Titans' third touchdown of the first half. Surprise the Texans where it goes. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, th there's some miscommunication, you know, but but sometimes, you know, we're not good enough. Our teams aren't good enough to recognize that. Quarterbacks aren't. Um, you can see that these guys are debating whether they're playing cloud or playing quarters and you know Ryan was able to look at and see it and, and that honestly that's the last place you probably think that, that ball is going but uh, you know to Ryan's credit you know he was able to fit it in there and, and Hump uh, was able to recognize that there was a mistake in coverage. Adam Humphreys six catches in the ball game 64 yards and that touchdown coach he was targeted six times he made six catches. This guy is so reliable. Great to have Adam Humphreys back. And just the efficiency, and it is reliable. And he understands where he needs to get to on all these third downs. You know, the quarterback has confidence in him. He, he can work in man. He can work in zone. And, you know, just can't say enough about him. It's, it's been great to have him. It's been great to have him you know, healthy and, and with us. So, you know, we'll keep uh, – and we'll keep rolling along and, and trying to get these guys, everybody, the ball. And that's the one thing that the quarterback does. He gets the ball to the guy that's open. 
So you got Adam Humphreys back. You got Cam Batson back. He had another catch. And this week you get Corey Davis back from the COVID-19 reserve. That's great news. Yeah, it is great news. And I, and I know that Corey's excited to be back. And, uh, you know, we'll start working all those guys back in there and, and, and just trying to give us some more weapons. We'll meet them all against an unbelievably talented and, and well-coached football team with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mike, the pressure of overtime in an NFL game is incredibly difficult, but it's nothing like when you have to guess the Delta Dental Titan of the Week. I mean, Sunday was probably a walk in the park compared to Delta Dental Guess the Titan. I think I can actually get that. For the first time, I think I can actually see it in the eyes. Wow. Don't say because we got to go to break, okay? Can okay. he do it? Is it Mike Vrabel's week? You don't want to miss it. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. His Delta Dental guest is next. And those of you at home get it. Delta Dental guest, the Titan. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola continues with the head coach making his guess. I would say that I think that is Jadeveon Clowney. Oh, is that right? It is. Coach! It's JD himself. How about that? I think I finally saw it in the eyes. It was a good, clean picture. That's why I got it. You know, my favorite clowny story is he was so big when he was in grade school, they used to have to take his birth certificate around with him to prove that he wasn't four or five years older. I don't doubt that one bit. <laughs> I think that he probably looked the way he looks right now when he was probably in ninth or tenth grade. Probably uh, terrorizing those those kids down there and in, uh, in, in around Rock Hill, South Carolina. All right, let's talk about a guy who was terrorizing the Texans on Sunday, and that's Anthony Ferkser. Career high, eight catches, 113 yards, and a touchdown. I know you're very proud of the overall effort of Anthony Ferkser for the last two plus years and how it paid off on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, he's a self-made player. I mean, he was he was a tryout guy. He came here as a tryout our first year here as a staff and you know, really impressed us with what he was able to do. And in and on the, the active roster, practice squad developed and he really found a niche uh, on this football team. Has helped us out. Uh, the quarterback trusts him. He's always most, most usually in the right spot. Has had some big catches uh, since we've been here. Uh, whether that's the the, the first New England game a few years ago, New England game last year, and the playoffs on third down, really building confidence, and, it, and it's good to see. He's a Jersey boy who played at Harvard, and right now he's the Rackley Harvard. Roofing Tough Titan of the Week. Standing by with Amy Wood. Tannehill drifts into the shotgun. Tannehill looking, looking, firing, completing, scoring. Touchdown, Titan! Tannehill, the magic man with the magic hand to Ferkser for the big six. Anthony, I want to start by asking you about the game against the Houston Texans. You had over 100 yards receiving. Are you starting to feel like you're becoming a primary weapon on this Titans offense? I'm just excited to be able to like, find a role for the offense and be able to be in the spot when Ryan needs me. And I mean, yeah, I was excited to just have a big role in the win. The Titans have come out on top in a lot of close victories. How much confidence does that give you as a player in the scheme that you're playing within? We've seen it time in and time out, game after game, that we've been successful and able to come out with the win. So, I mean, we're on the sidelines and the defense is out there, the offense is out there. We're cheering and we have faith that they're going to be able to get the job done to have us execute and win the game. Anthony, what sets this 2020 team apart from some of the other teams that you've been a part of? There's more confidence and trust. I mean, we've been running the same offense and similar defensive schemes and just being able to trust each other and communicate and just have that type of camaraderie on the team just gives us all the confidence in the world. You're 5-0. and oh. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels good. I think we put ourselves in a good situation, but there's still a lot more games left in the season, and we got to keep improving each week. Anthony Ferkser, thank you so much for being our Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. Now, speaking of tough titans, we're all Tennessee tough this year, and when we come back, we're going to tell you why. Stick around.
People love the Tennessee tough mantra that the 2020 Titans have taken on. Mike Vrabel, what does Tennessee tough mean to you, not just about your football team, but the entire Titans organization? Well, I think the, the one thing we talked about last week was, you know, being mentally tough, which is doing what's best for the team, uh, even though it might not be what's best for you. And I think that that's a, a great definition of, of mental toughness is being able to say, man, I got to put the team first uh, in front of what may be best for me at this particular time and, and do whatever you can and, and what, what you're able to do to help the team uh, find, a, find a way to win each and every week. Amy Adams Strunk loves this as well. The Titans controlling owner believes that Tennessee Tough really tells the story of the Tennessee Titans. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. Hey, fourth down. Do they think about going for it here? A minute 17 remaining. Mike Crable is going to Tennessee. Try to you see what you're made of when you go through something tough. You folks need to be down in the basement. You don't have time. And yeah, it's been a tough year. 14 days of self-quarantine. For everyone. But Tennesseans are built for this. Titans were men of strength and power. Let's go! Rock your Grit passed down through generations. Tough. Pain was their badge. first ones here, they set the tone. Remind you of somebody? Yeah, me. A team made of pure grit. You're not hurt, are you? Our team is built by the heartbeat of the state. You. Tennessee Tough. We want more. Let's go. We want more. We want more. That's your ball club right there. When we come back on the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola, it's time to talk keys to beating Pittsburgh. Stay tuned. Nissan keys to success, 5-0 Pittsburgh. It starts, Mike Vrabel, with taking care of the football. Well, not only taking care of it, Mike, but also turning it over. You know, we, we got to get our hands on more footballs. We got to punch them out. We got to strip the quarterback. We had a couple tips that we just, you know, we're close, but that we didn't get to go our way. So not only do we have to take, it, take advantage of it, but uh, we got to take care of the ball as well. This is a Pittsburgh team that's, you know, plus uh, six, five or six in the turnover margin as well. And so as we go to the second key, we figure out that Mike Vrabel wants to see the Titans not give up the big plays. Well, we, 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 you can't just be good about it most of the game. You got to be great about it the entire game. And, you know, we had a couple of unfortunate ones the other night in this, you know, Pittsburgh or the other day. And Pittsburgh will, will do that as well. They got plenty of weapons that will move the ball downfield. We better be able to tackle and communicate. And, and not not worry about uh, making mistakes, but we gotta we gotta have mental mental preparation that that allows us to work and communicate together uh, to to avoid those those big plays. Finally, let's take a look at key number three for the Titans coming up Sunday against Pittsburgh, and they've got to be able to take care of what is a really good looking front seven for the Steelers on defense. Yeah, you know they 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 lost the inside linebacker, but. 
you know, they lost Bush, but but again, uh, it starts up front with those D linemen, edge, edge setters with Dupree and Watt. Um, you know, it's is a tough front to move the ball on. Vince Williams is a good player. Uh, they're going to be down in there. They're going to be aggressive, and uh, we're going to be have to be at our best and and be ready to uh, to stand up to them because because if you don't, they'll push you around. That's going to do it for the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. Join us at 11 this Sunday on 104.5 The Zone for Titans Countdown. We look forward to bringing you all the action starting at 12.02. Thanks for joining us, everybody.